We are called to this moment to be the protectors of a fragile planet. We are the prophets and the stewards of a future that is not our own. We are called to care for this planet and to stop fracking. We are called to care for this planet and care for the poor. We are called to be the leaders who seek peace and justice. Through mindfulness, we sink into a deep inner silence. But we have to be aware that there are two kinds of silence. May we be clearly aware of the choice that we face, and through wisdom, may we choose the silence of life, creativity, and vitality over the silence of burnt out fields and a desolate planet. Nothing is a better example than water of what Unitarian Universalists call the seventh principle, the interconnected web of existence of which we are all a part. Nobody can get an exemption from the natural cycle of water. Nobody can excuse themselves from being responsible for the water that we all share. There are no loopholes, not even any Halliburton loopholes, in the interconnected web of existence of which we are all a part. We who live in the richest and most wasteful part of this earth will change our tradition. Can we say no more fracking? No more fracking! In order for the world to adjust its climate, we have to adjust our behavior. And if the government won't change, then we'll change the government. Yeah. <laughs>